to check any bigger or smaller number that is divisible by 3 or not, there is a very simple concept. Just add all the digits of that number individually, you know, add 1 and 1, all the digits of that number, and see the resulting number, after the sum what you have got, that number is multiple of 3 or not, is divisible by 3 or not. If it is divisible, then that is also the whole number is also divisible by 3, otherwise not. Something I mean to say like, uh, you take any number, suppose 3, 4, 9. I have 3, 4, 9 number, and now I need to check whether 3 is going to divide it perfectly or not, without any remainder or not. Alright, so uh, in classical method, what do we do? We do by 3, 4, 9, and then we divide by 3 like this. 3 times 1, 3, okay, cancel. Then 4, we drop here 4, and then again say 3 times 1, 3, alright, and we came 1, and again 19, and then we say, oh, 3 times 6 equals to 18, and we got 1 remainder. So it's not divisible. So, so 3, 4, 9 is not divisible by 3. But I'm going to tell you now the very shortest trick, the very simple trick. Simple, just add this 3 and then 4 and then 9. What is the result now? 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 3, 16. So since 16, now 16 is not divisible by 3, right? 16 cannot be divided by 3. So that's why the whole 3, 4, 9 number can't be divided by the 3. You cannot, uh, you know, like uh, checking divisibility of the very big, big numbers, you know, like something, something, the very big numbers. It's difficult, but if you have two digit number, easily you can say two digit number or one digit number if you have, then you can easily say whether the number is being divisible by 3 or not. Alright, so like if I'm checking whether this number is divisible by 3 or not, then what I will do? I will do nothing. I will just do, add all the, all the places of this. You know, I will do 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 8 plus 0 plus 8 and what is the result I'll just check right so 8 plus 0 8 and again 8 plus 8 16 and 16 plus 9 25 and 25 plus 4 29 29 and then 3 all right it's 32 so 32 and now I will say I will, I will just check whether 32 is the multiple of 3 or not means th 32 can be divided by 3 or not no 32 cannot be divided by the 3 because again th 3 plus 2 if you add 3 plus 2 if you add you will get 5 and 5 is not divisible by 3. Alright, 32 if you feel bigger, then again do one more thing. Just add 3 plus 2. You'll get how much? 5. Alright, that is what I did here. So 5 is not divisible by 3. So the whole number this is also not divisible by 3. It cannot be divided by 3. Uh, something number C, I'm, I'm checking suppose suppose 24. I'm, I'm, I'm taking very simple. So 24 is divisible by, th uh, by 3 or not. It is very easy, everybody know, right? 2 plus 4, it is divisible. So how to check? Simple, add 2 and then 4. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, and 6 is actually the multiple of 3. So yes, in 2 times it is dividing. 6, 3 times 2, that is 6. So it is divisible, because the sum we are getting is the multiple of 3. The sum is di being divisible by 3. Alright? And if you choose any number, like suppose, suppose 3, 6. Okay, 36. So I need to check whether 36 is divisible by 3 or not. So I will, what I will do, I will just add 3 and 6. So 3 plus 6. How much I am getting? 9. So 9 Exactly. If you divide 9 by 3, you'll get 3. It means 9 is divisible by 3, right? Because 9 is the multiple of 3. In 3 times, if you multiply 3, then you'll get 9. Similarly, you choose, suppose, uh, 108. So, 108 is divisible by uh, uh, 3 or not to check it. Simply, I'll add all the digits of this. 1 plus 0 plus 8. Now, 1 plus 0 plus 8, I'm going to get 9. And yes, 9 is divisible by 3. And it means 108 is also divisible by 3. Similarly, 36 is also here divisible by 3. So, like this, you need to confirm. All right. I'll give one more example, and then we'll jump for the divisibility test of four. All right. Uh, something like suppose five, 56. Okay. So, how can be sure? Well, well, how do you know that whether this is divisible by three or not? Exactly. Quickly, if you have to find out, then nothing you do. Just you add five, and then you add six. So five plus six, that's eleven, and eleven is not the multiple of three. So that's why 56 is not divisible by three. Any, you say 59. So nine plus what do you do? Five and plus nine. That is 14. Since 14 is not divisible by 3, so what do you say? 59 is also not divisible by 3. Now you say, uh, suppose uh, 72. What do you do? Nothing. 7 plus 2 you add, right? 7 plus 2, what do you get? 7 plus 2, you'll get 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, so it means 72 is also divisible by 3. You say like 93. So 93 is divisible by 3 or not? So just what do you have to do? You have to do 9 plus 3, you'll get 12. And since this 12 is divisible by 3, so what you can say, 93 is also divisible by 3. So like this, you need to check whether the sum of that digit is multiple of 3 or not. The sum of the digit is divisible by 3 or not. If it is divisible, then it the whole number is also divisible by 
that that the whole number is also divisible by 3 otherwise not okay so in the next video we'll be learning the divisible test of 4 by 4